Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this fully animated lecture, we are going to be talking about lipids. Lipids are a family of organic compounds that are mostly insoluble in water. Insoluble means they do not mix well with water, but soluble in organic solvents. Lipids are made up of fatty acids. What are fatty acids? They are long chains of carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acids are organic compounds that have a carboxyl group at the end of their molecular chain. When these carboxylic acids bond together in a long chain, they form what we call a fatty acid. So, let's understand how these lipids are formed from fatty acids. Lipids are formed by chemical reaction of three fatty acids with a glycerol molecule. Glycerol is a three-carbon molecule with an alcohol group attached to each carbon. Fatty acids, on the other hand, are long-chain hydrocarbons with a carboxylic acid group attached to one end. When glycerol reacts with fatty acids, the three hydroxyl groups of glycerol react with the carboxylic acid group of three fatty acids. This reaction results in the formation of three ester bonds and releases three molecules of water. Now the bond formed between glycerol and fatty acid is known as ester linkage. So lipids can also be defined as esters of long chain carboxylic acids with a glycerol molecule. These esters are made of three fatty acids, therefore they are called triglycerides. That is the most common form of lipid found in our body and are classified as simple lipids. Lipids can be classified into four categories, simple, complex, derived, and miscellaneous lipids. Simple lipids are made up of fatty acids and glycerol. They are further classified into two types, fats and oils. Fats are solid at room temperature, while oils are liquid. Simple lipids are mainly used for energy storage in our body. Complex lipids are made up of fatty acids, glycerol, and other groups. Like phosphoric acid, proteins or carbohydrates. Complex lipids contain phosphoric acid, are known as phospholipids. They are the building blocks of our cell membranes. Complex lipids contain proteins, known as lipoprotein. They are responsible for transporting fats and cholesterol throughout our bodies. Lipids containing sugar molecules are known as glycolipids. They play an important role in cell signaling and communication. Derived lipids are derived from simple and complex lipids. Steroids include hormones, like testosterone and estrogen, which play a role in our body's growth and development. Cholesterol is another important derived lipid that helps your body make cell membranes, many hormones, and vitamin D. Miscellaneous lipids include all other types of lipids that do not fit into the above categories. One example of miscellaneous lipids is sphingolipids. These are important components of cell membranes and help with cell signaling. Now let me tell you some sources of lipids. Lipids are naturally synthesized by animals, plants and marine organisms. Animal fats are found in adipose tissue cells that help to regulate our body temperature, store energy, and protect our organs. Animals secrete milk from which butter and ghee is obtained. Butter and ghee are used for cooking and frying of food, for preparing bakery products and sweets. Plants synthesize oils and store them in seeds, such as sunflower oil, coconut oil, and corn oil. These oils are used as vegetable oils or ghee for cooking and other purposes. Marine animals like salmon and whales are also source of oils. These oils are used as medicines, like cod liver oil, that reduces inflammation in the body and helps to lower the risk of heart disease and stroke. Now we are going to talk about the functions of lipids and why they are important for our bodies. Firstly, lipids supply our bodies with energy. They are broken down into fatty acids and used as a source of fuel for our cells. Lipids also carry vitamins A, D, A and K through our bodies. These vitamins are fat soluble, which means they need lipids to be transported and absorbed properly. Lipids also provide a reserve store of energy. Excess energy from the food we eat is stored in adipose tissue as triglycerides, which can be used later when our bodies need it. Promoting healthy skin is another function of lipids. Lipids also promote normal cell growth by forming the cell membrane. Without lipids, our cells wouldn't be able to function properly. Lipids also protect our vital organs, like the heart and liver, by protecting them from physical shock. 
Additionally, they help to regulate body temperature by insulating our bodies. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this.